Hey folks, in this session we're actually going to take a look not so much at what's going on in Google Meet, but what happens after you end a Google Meet, especially if you're working with the Education Plus version. Uh, and that is, it actually generates a report that gets sent to your email about with some basic information about what went on in that Google Meet. Uh, and that can be really helpful if, you, uh, if you're running a class and you don't remember to take attendance or you just want to get a sense of, you know, where people... Where were people during that time? Um, so I am going to actually pause this and I'm going to end this Google Meet and I'm going to sh jump over to email to show you what that looks like. So bear with me. So after you end a Google meeting, one of the cool things that happens with uh, your Plus uh, Education Plus version is you get this email uh, that says meetings, no reply. And it says meeting data from, and this is the name of the room. So if I click on that, it says, oh, do you want to check this out? It's the meeting attendance. So I'm, I'm intrigued. So I'm going to open up a drive. I just click directly on the document itself. And so it gives me just some brief information. It tells me who was there, for how long, and you know what time they joined, what time they exited. Uh, it provides my email and then this external person. It, it provides a... Uh, truncated email. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then if you go into Open Drive, it brings you into that particular folder because you may have a particular meeting room and you may have added and left it. But what's also cool is if you go to Meeting Reports in general, you will see um, any, of the time, any of those meetings that you've had. Um, now, if you're doing a lot of meetings, this can actually you know run up a lot. Um, and therefore it could get pretty tedious, so you may want to delete. Um, but it's worth knowing that this is where it shows up, and it's pretty cool. Another cool feature is that if you've done any polling, uh, that also shows up. So if I go in here, right, I have the attendance report, and this is from one I did earlier today, and also the polling results. So if I ran a poll, Google Meet will also keep that. And notice it keeps, I did two of them, and they were the same thing. But it tells me, oh, here's, here's that information. Um, so it actually can be, re like, it, it saves that information that you are actually been using. And that can be incredibly helpful uh, within all of this. So if you have been doing a weekly poll, maybe, uh, about where people's moods are or how they're feeling or the like, this could actually be the thing where, uh, you go back over the course of the semester and see like, oh, wow, this is this is how the progress has been made or or here's where people's thoughts have shifted on a particular topic or a particular idea. Now, notice it creates a folder in your Google Drive called meeting reports. And so that's where all the meeting reports, whether, you know, all those different things that you do in uh, that you do in Google Meet will show up here. If, for instance, you record it, that actually won't show up in meeting reports. It will show up in uh, a different folder that Moodle will create, which is Meet Recordings. Um, so again, uses very similar language of reports and, and recordings. And what it will show here is like you have access to the recordings, and if you've done, as I did earlier today, the transcript, that is also readily available. So if I click on that, it will actually show me the transcript um, of what I had said earlier today. And I could go in and edit it, play around with it, or if this is text that I would just want to take uh, for some other purpose. So it's really cool to know that kind of whatever you're doing in Google Meet afterwards, you can go into your uh, go into your Google Drive to find some of these materials, use some of these materials um, where and when it might be helpful. So hope this video is useful. Let me know if you have any questions.